Axel. Welcome to the Weekly Van Crawl. And this week, Dave Mander. I found a slot that he was not playing a gig, and he was able to slide in and do the Van Crawl. Glad to be here. I'm thrilled to have you here. So Dave plays with me in Midnight Mayhem. Um, the only people who do not know him as Dave are Torn, who for some reason think he's Steve. But, yeah, apparently. But that's fine. Either way, Actually, right? most people know me as the guitar player that plays with the guy that does the band crawl. Really? Yeah. Is that your new nickname? I guess yeah. so, yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, I'm glad you could make the time to do it. This is awesome. I finally get to some have someone from my own band on. Um, by now, you know the deal. We are going to do a separate Bike Week episode. Um, it'll be on the same post as this. I'll also list all the Bike Week dates below in the comments so you can check it out. This is just the normal band crawl. So let's get to it. Everyone knows Cafe Murano. Yeah, Cafe Murano is a great place. We play there, and um, I love the food, the staff. Everything about that place is, is just great. Yeah, it's, it's part of my girlish figure. <laughs> I like the pizza. pizza. I like yeah. the chicken marsala. Dana and Sharon are there. I have not gotten to see them. They are, they've are they got to be great because they're here and they're at Dexter's all the time. And both right. places are picky about who they bring in the door. Absolutely. You know. And then Sanford Brewing Company in Sanford. This is the Sanford location. I'm a big fan. We play there quite a bit. We did yep. the block party last week. And what I learned doing the block party is they hang their little signs everywhere in the restroom, like, here's who's coming. Right. I'm too ugly to play Sanford Brewing Company. Me too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the, the, they had, like, a, a Dixie. Diamond Dixie. Oh, my gosh. And then beautiful Christine. women. Yeah. Like, it's unbelievable. So I'm going to hire, like, an Antonio Banderas stunt double <laughs> to sit on stage, and I'm going to go play we, off stage. We need that. I'm yeah. telling you, it's getting crazy. Friday, they have Kurt Frolic, who's with um, Occasional Astronauts now, but he actually sang with L.A. Guns. He puts wow. on a killer show. That's awesome. um, I've seen him several times. And I know you said, I haven't seen Third Rock yet, but you said you actually know those guys. I know them. I know them. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a trio, like the name says. Gave it away. Uh, Michael and Michelle um, and um, Sen Moore. And Michael is probably one of the best guitar players in Orlando. And he uh, does it all on acoustic guitar, which is amazing to me. And uh, the sounds that he gets. He's a just super talented guy. And then John, their drummer, percussionist, he plays the drums, but he also created this uh, percussion instrument out of a guitar, and he calls it a shitar because he like he Frankensteined it basically, put okay. all this stuff on it, and it's a giant percussion instrument. It's it's great. They do a lot of really fun music. I've sat in and played with them a number of times. I'm gonna look um, up that that guitar thing. It's really cool. That he, sounds he very cool. He created this thing, and it's it's pretty awesome. That sounds very cool. And on Sunday, Christine Adonolfi. I hope I said that right. I'm sure you did. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So forgive me if I didn't. Out in Maitland on Thursday, they have Michael Petrovich on acoustic. He's also very good. I actually got to see just a little bit of him once before. Um, Friday is Switch. I'm a huge Switch fan. Oh, yeah. I uh, could be I, in that band. I, I've got, got the, the bald haircut. head. Yeah, you I got do. the haircut. You know what's going to happen? They have Nerd Ranger. They have uh, uh, Switch. They have, I think they have another one too. There's one more, right? Nerd they, Ranger. They did the, they did the Cure. Love song, yeah, yeah, but they have song. another version of Switch, I think. And now they're going to hear you say that and be like, "We're going bald, <laughs> and we're bald Ranger." Yeah, and you're yeah, going to be bald the Ranger. That's they're, funny. they're awesome. And then Christina's back here Saturday night, so you can see her at both locations. And then, of course, on Sunday, I have seen Fred Lepaki. He is fantastic. Right. So they always, I just like that place. They're always nice, great food. Yeah, they are super nice. It, it's it's very cool. Um, this is going to be a killer weekend, right? So Friday you have Raging Sun with yeah. Jason and yep. William. Um, and then on Saturday you have Rocketfly, and I yeah. mean, that it, that's it. Like Rocketfly is amazing. They I'm a hair amazing. metal guy, like yep. totally hair metal guy, and and so that's going to be a killer weekend of music. And he can sing anything. It's ridiculous, yes. like totally ridiculous. Thursday is Alias at the Alley. Now here's what I didn't know. I got this wrong. I've been saying that Alias is another version of Barfly. I was corrected on this. This is not right. This is wrong. Alias is Barfly. Oh. Alias is Barfly. That is their normal lineup now. That is the band. When you see Barfly, it is actually Hunter on vocals, Rob on bass, and whoever else they pulled in with them for the weekend. Oh, wow. Right? So I have it backwards. So <laughs> go either way, it's going to be amazing. I can listen yeah, yeah. To, to Hunter sing anything. Like, yeah, of course. So go check it out. The Alley, we were just there this past weekend for a little bit. Yep. It, it's a killer venue. Um, on Friday, they have Selwyn Butch... Ugh, I messed that up tonight. Selwyn, Selwyn Birchwood. Birchwood. My bad. On Friday. And Saturday is Matt O'Ray. Now, I could have this wrong, but I think that's the name of the guitar player who also plays with Bon Jovi, who, like, took over for Richie Sambora. Oh, really? Yes. Like, I'm almost positive on this, but I could be wrong. So, if I'm wrong, don't get mad. If I'm right, <laughs> look at everything I know. Right? So, go check it out. Um, Friday, this is Castleberries. Have you seen either one of them? 
Well, of course, Barfly. Right, which is now yeah, yeah. which is now like, new. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> right, and then have you seen Stephen Greenman? I've not. So he's awesome. Um, he actually sang as the lead vocalist. He may still be doing it in a Motley Crue tribute band, and he was oh, an excellent wow. Vince Neil, um, an excellent Vince Neil. But they always put on a great show. He, I mean, Castleberry is just such a cool place. It's probably the lowest ceiling. Oh, of, yeah. of any bar. Well, it's an old space. house. Right, yeah, yeah, It's an yeah. old house. It's somebody's, like, family room or garage, but but it's cool, and it fills up, and people like it, and I hear that, you know, it's under new ownership for, like, the last year or so. Yeah, yeah. I hear it's great. Yeah, you it's really I mean? cool. They, they still, they serve food really late, um, and uh, then they have that bar out back in the patio area. It's Which really is cool. Nice. Yeah. Which is very cool. So, you can't go wrong there this weekend, either. I'm sure you're familiar with Post Time. <laughs> I've played sure. Post Time a bunch of times. Yep, and uh, great, great. You know, surprisingly, they have probably one of the best pizzas in Orlando. I have not had their pizza. I love their pizza. Oh my gosh, it's it's really good. All right, well now I'm gonna have to check it out. The biggest thing I'm a fan of at post time is Deanna, who's the GM. Yeah, of course, she's she, just awesome. Yeah, she's ever, just ever awesome. since she, I, I guess she moved here from Vegas. Yeah, where she, she managed a that. bunch of places, and um, yeah, it's a uh, she's. She's incredible. She's going to be up at Bike Week managing a bunch of the venues in their band. Really? Yeah. She well, was that's... telling me. So, and sent me a bunch of info, which we'll cover on the Bike Week version. Um, nice. Hypersona on Friday, Eric Freitas. Do you know, I played in the band yeah. with Eric like years ago. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, Do you remember the band name? Uh, we were, we were at the time, we were called um, Cut and Dry. Okay. And our drummer left, and Eric came and played with us for like six months. He's ridiculously good. Long, oh, yeah. Ridiculously good. He's amazingly talented. And then Redline, so this is John Foscolos. Do you know John? I don't. Okay, so he's, he's just a fantastic human. Uh, nurse by day, rock star by night. His current lineup is awesome. He's got the singer that used to be with, uh, now I'm going to blank, Rockology, who... Sings oh wait! Phenomenal. I saw them. They were at the. Uh, did they do the, the barn? They did the barn benefit thing. Right, right. right. They're yes. great. Yep, they're great. A great mix of music. Very fun band. Super, super personable. That's going to be another fantastic weekend at post time. Yeah, for sure. And then OBs. So let me clear up the confusion because they posted it, but I don't know that anybody's following it. Facebook decided they were closed. Oh. Like they just put up a thing automatically, and we're like, OBs is shut. OBs is not shut. You can still go to OBs. It was a technical error somehow on Facebook's part, but let me just clear that up. On Friday, I only know what that says because I typed it. Because I know there's no way you can read that right now. I can so, read that. Really? Yeah, yeah. All you, take it. Oh, the Grindstone Sinners uh, play, what, they play at 2 p.m., I guess. Yep. And then you've got uh, Fat Cactus and, of course, Chasing uh, Neon. Chasing, very good. Playing, I mean, playing late. So we see this on a little screen. So that's really, really small. That's very cool. So It is small. I have not gotten to see any one of these bands yet. But I have heard about all three. Right, me too. You know what I mean? So I'm sure that's going to be a great weekend there. They're a great venue anyway. I love Christy. I love the staff. They renovated like two years ago now. Like, it's awesome. So you're going to have a great time. Yeah, we played there inside and outside. Yes, we have. And, um, you know, it's funny. I know every venue by the food. And uh, so these guys have great chicken wings. (laughs) (laughs) So you can just comment on the menu as we go. Pretty much, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, Saturday is Kings County. I'm a huge Kings County fan. I really like those guys. And then I have not seen Josh Ford and the Groove Bender, but I've seen them listed in multiple places. And I very always, cool band name. I always go with the theory: if you're playing a couple of good venues, you can't be bad. Absolutely. Because they will not bring you back. So Absolutely. Go check them out. Um, just one more had nothing listed. Uh, again, if they really don't have a band, hit them up. It could be a gig up for grabs. Don't you do that? We're playing. <laughs> do you know what? I've played there uh, a few, quite a few times, actually, recently, and uh, cool venue. And, oh, I've been uh, there. It's a nice place. Apparently, they're gonna they're gonna be on Bar Rescue. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's very cool. coming up very soon. That's very cool. And yep. and again, I've been there too. I think it's a cool venue. You know, nice and homey. They you know, love live bar. music. They love live bands. And apparently, you know, once they do the Bar Rescue thing, they want to do. A, much better setup for the bands and have a bigger stage and everything. Nice. So okay. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be on the lookout for that. Yep. Main Street Station. They will be in the Bike Week version too. On Friday, they have Dead Land. I don't know if he's Yeah, he's awesome. That's going to be a good time. And then Saturday, Skin Deep. I mean, Love legendary. Yeah, There's yeah, nothing, yeah. nothing you can say other than they're amazing. They are amazing. Right? And then Afterlife, who I have not seen, but they're in Daytona a lot rotating right. around so again they've got to be great sure boot hill saloon again they'll be in the bike week version too friday is gun shy who i finally did get to see yeah, they're drummers in my drum group um i got to see them at ob's oh cool. and they were great 
yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. It was a good show. I haven't seen Mantra. Again, if you're playing Boot Hill on Bike Week, you're not going to suck. Right? I right. mean, it's that symbol. Absolutely. And then on Saturday, I like this. Of Her course. name is Anita Drink. I know. That's perfect. I like That's great. Yeah. Right? That's great. Hard Rock. Um, do you... You can take that. Do you know either one of those guys? Shoot the Thrill. I'm guessing that they're an ACDC. Tribute. They are indeed. <laughs> and they're really good, by the way. Dave Lauber's in there. Like, oh, they're, they're Dave really, Lauber does everything. They're right? really good. That's so a Dave Lauber's uh, giving guitar lessons. Oh, and he's in TribuCon. He, yeah, yeah. And he has, you know, he has a as new a drummer, band. Right. Yeah. As, oh, by the way, he is a ridiculous drummer. Yeah, like, yeah. He's trained in that. Like, he's a very good drummer. I've seen TribuCon a few times. Yeah, they're amazing. And he's yep. now in a band. Um, hold on. All In. The name is All In. Um, yes, I wanted to say Alan, and I knew that was wrong. Was oh, that the one with um, with Dave Storm? Right. Yeah. Yes, he's got Dave Storm and the keyboard player from Clicker, um, whose name is escaping me, and I believe the female lead vocalist from Clicker. Wow. And they are just ramping up. They've had a couple shows that we were like, "Hey, do you want to do this?" And they're like, "We can't do it tonight. I'm really sorry." So they're just getting ramped up. But be on the lookout for that. And have you ever seen Trey Pierce? Nope. So first of all, it's Trey's birthday. So happy birthday! Happy birthday! Um, I like the way he spells his name, though. He is like a Grammy-winning artist, and we used to play in, in New Smyrna um, at a, at a, like across the street at Traders, mm -hmm. and he would be at Ohm Bar, oh, and, cool. and it was like a concert over there. Like, yeah, yeah. The band is awesome. He's awesome. Like if you get to go see him, you should go see him. He is just he's fantastic. He doesn't play all that often. He owns a new venue in Daytona too, by the way, oh, whose wow. name is escaping me. So forgive me for that, Trey. But. Um, you should definitely go see him. Like yeah. he is one of those things you will walk out of and be like, okay, that was a totally different experience. What style of music? Um, you know, a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. But they kind of go for that like um, R and B funk oh, yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah. You know, at least when I mind you, last time I got to see them because we play so much was a couple of years ago. Right. But, but they're awesome. Always worth it. Have you heard of them? Hey, those guys. Have you heard of those guys? I have heard of them. Yeah, yeah. You can take it. It's all you. So, uh, you know, first of all, Traders is such a cool venue because um, w when we get there, there's always music out back oh, on yeah. the patio. So they do acoustic music on the patio. We play inside, um, and it's it's always a constant ton of people on the dance floor. All the time. Which and, is what uh, we're there for. Yeah, exactly. And great drinks, great staff. It's, it's a really fun venue to play at. And guess what? What? We don't have any competition at Flagler Tavern. Oh, no. Which is which is good and bad, right? Because what people do is they come to Traders. You can walk a block over and go to Flagler, which right. has great food and the cool dance floor and a great bar. Nobody listed. Wow. And so we may be the only game in town uh, dance band-wise, right? Because Peanuts yeah, is course. there. There's a couple other places. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they do have a band. If you do, post it below. But if you don't have a band... Swing by and see Midnight what Band. What if the name of the band is actually TBD? Someone's going to do that. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> Someone's going to be like, we are TBD. Yeah. Uh, Friday, that's Long's Log Cabin. They're in year five. Right. Um, everybody raves about this place. Yeah, I've not been, but I, I know. I but I only hear it. this. Yeah. yeah. And they've got Leaving Eden, who I have never heard. But if the girl in the picture is in the band, there's going to be a lot of guys who want to see the band. Because <laughs> the picture's amazing. So... Uh, I don't know what they play. This is my first time hearing the band name. If you know about them, hit us up. Let us know. But I'm sure they're going to be great because Long's is picky. Yep. You know, we're there in like July. Right. Yeah. And like for like a pirate fest, which is going to be a ton, I know. Of, <laughs> a ton of fun. <laughs> Have you seen Big Engine? Years ago. But they've been around, I mean, a really long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're amazing. Right. They're amazing. I really enjoy those guys. Um, they're there. Oh, I'm sorry. I should say they are there on Friday. At right. Doghouse. Saturday, they have the side piece duo okay. at 1. Then they have Fat Cactus, who we just saw at another right. venue, right at 3 o'clock. And then the Tree of Life duo at 10. And in the middle of that, I didn't put it on here because it's not a band. They have some kind of bikini contest in between the last two acts. Oh, wow. Yes. I was going to enter, and then I stopped. <laughs> you familiar with the venue or the bands? The Garage Bart. Um, I am familiar with it, but I don't know either one of those bands. So... Alex Hayes is fantastic. That is his band, by the way, because he plays acoustic also. Okay. Plays a little bit of everything. Fantastic. Run for cover, I have not gotten to see, but that is Nikki Bolin. Um, she's been around forever. She used to do, like, you know, the, the open mic nights. Right. Oh, that is her band. Oh, cool. Um, and they're like a rock and roll, uh, fun party kind of vibe, so definitely go check them out. And then at Bruise and Blues, Shadow Cabinet. Yeah. They are, if you want alternative, 
that's the place to go. Sure. Period. Like, that's their I thing. Ca I caught one of their sets uh, about a month or so ago. Really, really good. Yeah, they're fantastic. And then I don't know Monticello. So I do. Uh, Monticello is... Uh, oh, Monticello. So, so if, if it's who I'm thinking of, it's three brothers, and they're from... Um, uh, they're from overseas somewhere. Spain, uh, I believe maybe Spain? And... Um, they are incredible. So they're super talented musicians, all th all three of them, and they do like everything from like Ozzy to. Uh, oh really? It's a it's a pretty hard rock type band. Is it? It's a band. Trio. There's okay. three of them. Okay, but and it's a band, not an acoustic thing. It's right. A band. It's a band, okay. and there's three of them, and they're all brothers. Very cool. Super nice, talented, and they're ridiculous nice guys. That's awesome. Yeah, they're really that's nice. more important than anything else. Yeah. Now, Drunken Parrot. So Friday they've got a Nirvana tribute. I actually didn't get sent the name. So I only know it's a Nirvana tribute, so forgive me for that. And Saturday, our friends at TBD. Oh yeah, those guys are they're everywhere. They're, everywhere. <laughs> they're like sound theory. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hit them up if you're looking for a gig on Saturday night because they may have a slot open. And you know that place has everything is there. Like they have a drum right, kit and the line, whole thing yeah, and they have their own sound guy. So it's 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 an it's an easy and a fun gig. Yeah, so yeah. if you're looking for something Saturday, hit them up. Captain Hiram's. I threw this in because Love Song. Who was just about so is that, I know it's Rusty. Yeah. Who I love. Yeah. Is it all of Switch and they're just Love Song, or or does Rusty have his own band and they play as the Cure tribute band? That I don't know. Well, I I was I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I was told it was pretty much the the. Um, Switch, yeah, which is all, which would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I, I will say that I I got to see these guys. It was so awesome. It was, I believe it. What, what a great night that was. And and these guys, what was really cool was Rusty comes out, and, I mean, he looks exactly. Oh, I've seen the pictures. Exactly like. And they start their show with, like, a video. They have video screens, and they started the show with a video of Cure um, receiving their, or their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Sure. And so they're doing the interview, with, and you're looking at this video, and then you're looking at them, and you're going, holy cow. And then they started, and the sound was just like. Well, you know, Rusty's a recording engineer. Yeah. Oh. Like, full-blown recording yeah. engineer. So well, they're going to sound know, amazing. And But the great thing about that, when you think about it, they did sound amazing, but even more of a challenge because at that benefit, it wasn't their sound system. Right. It wasn't their equipment necessarily there. They're just stuck with what they walked in with. Yeah, and they still sounded incredible. I'm not the least bit surprised. Definitely go check them it out. It was great. Definitely. Um, Oasis Saloon, Friday they have Free Agent. Saturday they have Plum Crazy. I still need to go out and see Plum Crazy. I, I, I hear about it all the time. Right. You know, they've hit me up a couple times. I'm embarrassed. I don't know more about this band at this point. But um, I'm definitely going to go check Do them out. Do you know, I was the first band that ever played at the Oasis Saloon. In 1943 when Chuck opened it? Yeah, yeah. So I, I used to play uh, almost like, the, I guess, like we were the house band at Muldoon's. Okay. And that used to be Chuck's hangout all the time. And then he opened up the Oasis Saloon out in Sorrento, and he wanted us to come play. And he's like, I need a band. And it, me and the bass player were available. And at the time, we were doing a lot of different styles of music. But we grabbed, um, uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> no. I'm you don't remember the name? Blanking on the name. No, and that's terrible because, uh, oh, Reed Hayes. I'm sorry. Really? We, okay. I know, right? Okay. So we, we, we grabbed Reed Hayes, and Reed Hayes played with us. We were the first band that played there. I just ran into that's Reed awesome. again recently. and He's we, ridiculous, we were, too. Yeah, well, we used to play Rush and stuff together. Oh, yeah. Because I was a big Rush fan. and um, You play Rush with me every weekend. I'm usually at least 5 BPM faster than you want. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that yeah, counts, yeah. right? But Oasis and Chuck, uh, great place. Oh yeah, I've got a million stories about that place. And everybody yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. Everybody does. Um, first and last tab in Ocala, one of the only venues out there. But I hear it's fantastic. They don't have anybody listed yet. Hit them up. They may need a band. TV again. I know everywhere, everywhere. Sully's. Speaking of everywhere, yeah, right? Right. Friday night sound theory can't go wrong. Tom, Jeff, Chris, uh, the, the band is fantastic. They're so much fun. Yep. Like, go by and check those guys out. Saturday, they're probably performing as TBD, is my guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's course. Sound Theory's everywhere almost as much as TBD. They are. So, but hit them up if you need a Saturday night gig. Pintos is kind of a cool name. Whiskey it is. Juju. Right? That's really cool. And then on Saturday, so technically with you here, we have a double challenge. Because normally I say, you know, oh, okay, the singer, go be them. If you're going to do karaoke and be Dave Mander, you need an electric guitar, <laughs> an acoustic guitar, and you need to be able to sing. But go out there and be your own rock star. That place sounds like a lot of fun. It's yeah, they, they, you know, I haven't they're, been there yet. they're out in Titusville. Yeah, um, very similar 
to post time. You know, it's a, oh, okay. it's a same kind of vibe, same kind of vibe place as uh, post time. Very similar. Nice. Um, I got the name. They told me how to pronounce it, so let's see if I do it right. Clocus is going to be at the Alibi Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. Rick Navarro, who literally sent me this as I was walking out here to record, so I went back and I put it in, is going to be solo. Oh, really? Which I have not seen him do in a long time. I've seen him play solo out at, um, place out on uh, OBT that, uh, what is it, the... It's the place that's. Uh, I do not know that area at all. I'm well, it's it's um it's a uh, like a beach place on the oh, on Lake cool. Fairview. Okay. And um it's like in the middle of nowhere industrial area, and then you go there and there's this is like really cool beach. He's place. he's super talented. Oh yeah, um, he and, is. He'll, and he'll be at Muldoon's Friday from eight to ten. Pop culture poets. This is Randy, another band I shouldn't like because of our competition, which Randy will really? remind me of when I see him. By the way. Yeah. And, they're amazing. Like, oh, I've the lineup is amazing. The I saw band them at, is amazing. I've seen them uh, at Traders. Um, they're, they're ridiculous. Yeah, like, they just, you know. They sound great. They just play. Yes. They play some really cool music, too. Oh, they do. And yeah, Randy yeah. can make himself sound like anybody. Yeah. And apparently, he's not using effects. Like, I've seen him do Tone Loke. I've seen him be Stevie Nicks. Like, he can sound like a lot of different people, and that's pretty cool. So, they're there. A Friday, they're at Latitudes in Margaritaville. And Saturday, they're doing the Deland Bike Rally. Oh, nice. Which is very cool. Um, Murder Hornets, Friday and Saturday at JJ's Lounge and Package, that the place you pass like three blocks from the Oasis. Oh, it's okay. on, the, on your right hand side as you're heading towards the Oasis. It is literally like, from what I understand, like a store. Like you can go in and buy like chips and drinks and whatever. Like a convenience store. Like a convenience store. <laughs> I've not been, but, but yeah. So they're there. And they have a live band. And, they, and you can get Murder Hornets while you're there. Fantastic. Uh, and then on Sunday, they're doing the porthole from 9 to 1. Nice. Switch, Old Town. Oh, Two yeah. of my favorite things in one spot. I love Great Old stage. Town. Yeah. Love it. And you've got, I keep saying it, if you've not seen Switch, you have to go see Switch. You will thank me. You can send me a PM. You can let me know. Yeah, super you will talented thank guys. They're just so much fun. Yep. And then Rusty, who does 80s and 90s on his own, uh, is doing a acoustic show Sunday at the American Legion Post 359 in Titusville. Nice. And um, I didn't put all that on there because I have a 42-inch TV and there's only so much I can do. But go see it because Rusty doesn't play solo often and it's a lot of fun. Nice. So definitely go check it out. Um, Duality, which is Sean and Lizzie. Lizzie, who sat in with you. Yep. Uh, uh, they were at Spill in Winter Springs. I've seen you there before. I've played there a bunch. Like, a yeah, bunch. Yep. It, it's awesome. It's awesome. Go by, check it out. And Judy Behave is Friday and Saturday at Bang & Blues. And... Judy can sing anything. Yep, like absolutely. She's another one with a powerhouse voice. Um, and our friends at Harlequin, who actually spent the evening listening to us. Right, um, so Sanford. I'm sorry, and you're welcome for that, I guess. In Sanford. Um, in Sanford at the block party. Yeah. They played Porch Fest before, before right. and they came and hung with us. They are at the Bottle House in Riverview uh, on the 5th at 10 o'clock. Go check them out. Tell them we yeah. said hi. You'll be glad you did. That is More Than Venus. With Kitty did not send me this. I found it on my own. Didn't even didn't even hit me up. She's like, man, crawl. Who cares? I know. I Come found on, it Kitty. myself and I put it up. They're there on the fourth, from six to ten, uh, at the Destination Orange City. So definitely check them out. Kitty's a powerhouse. Yeah, she can sing. And the band is is one of those where she can turn around to them. It's kind of cool to watch them play and be like, let's do this, and they do it. Like, it's, it's almost like a studio musician set up where she just kind of turns around and she's like, wait, they feel like this. Very impressive. Very impressive. Uh, Buddy Puddle, Muldoon's, uh, Saturday the 5th at 8 o'clock. Definitely go by and check them out. I have not gotten to see them, but I've seen video. And they, yeah. sound, they sound awesome. What kind of band is that? Well, the video I saw was classic rock. Okay, cool. But that doesn't mean that's all they do. I just, that happened to be the video I watched. And they're at Muldoon's quite a bit. So they're not going to be there if they're no good at what they're doing. Right. I mean, there's no way. And that is all the basically non-Bike Week stuff. Right. Right? So yeah, yeah. we'll do a separate one for Bike Week. Um, I'm putting that together because there's 9,000 bands at the venues. Uh, yeah. Bike Week sounds like it's going to be big this year. They went through a year or two where it really wasn't. Right, because people know. didn't travel or get out much. Yeah, even pre-COVID, you know, there were there was a bike week or two that we went to where you, you could just... Oh, look, it's playing your song. There was a bike week or two where... <laughs> You know, you drove up and there wasn't a ton of traffic. So, you see that? You left your phone on. I can't believe That's that. right. Now we get background music. Yeah. Now we get background it's music, nice. right? But anyway, I hope it's a great bike week this year. Uh, you yeah. know, the, the talent is killer every year. It's an awesome gig to play. Mander will be playing that song right there. 
on a xylophone out front. On the xyl- marimba. At, 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 on Main Street Station. Yeah. Can you do the four mallet Lionel Hampton marimba? Oh, absolutely. We'll do it in like chords yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're impressed I knew Lionel Hampton just a minute. <laughs> just a minute. I am, I am. There you go. All right, well, again, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. Go out, support, local bike week, wherever. Absolutely. Everybody appreciates it, and we will see you guys next time.